hello everyone so today i'm going to show you how to practice lines and circles if you all have watched my previous video i have shown you and told you everything about these pencils and this sketchbook so today let's jump into the practice of drawing i will walk you through different shapes and sizes and basic lines and circles you just need to practice these so let's do this so you can just take a hp pencil which is a very common pencil you can buy it anywhere and just take a regular sketchbook or any paper if you have any kind of paper just take it these exercises are just for practicing different shape and sizes so let's begin you can start with drawing a vertical line so just try to hold the pencil little gently don't put a lot of pressure and try to draw a vertical line like this practice it multiple times Try to draw as vertical as you can. Just repeat it. Keep drawing until you go really vertical and you're satisfied with it. If you go like this or like this, you just keep repeating until you go like straight. You can hold the pencil like little bit slight 45 degree angle if you hold really straight like this it will not be good that's not a good habit just hold it with a little bit of angle so that you can get a you can rest your hand here and then it will give you a, a better position to draw this Okay, and this is the number one exercise. Number two will be drawing a horizontal line like this. So keep practicing this. And try to draw it parallel to the previous line don't go like this or this just try to go parallel and try to keep it as horizontal as you can okay let's move on to the third which is diagonal line so it's going to be diagon diagonal like 45 degrees should be like this always rest your hand on the sketchbook if you keep it in the air it might go some different direction and it won't be straight so if you rest it it will go straight keep practicing this try to keep it at a 45 degree fourth one is a circle which is I think very important so let's begin It's going to be tough in the beginning but if you keep practicing it will be easy for you later on so try to imagine that there's a center here and all the four sides should be equal so 
this is very important so practice as many circles as you can this will really improve your drawing so practice a lot of circles number five is going to be a triangle so all three sides should be equal triangle repeat as many times as you can the more you will practice the, your hands will become free and then you will be able to draw very with ease then a square try to keep all four sides equal i know it's tough but you can easily measure it seeing that all these two diagonals are equal so i know i'm not drawing perfectly but i'm just telling you what to practice so try to draw a square uh, practice 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 Number seven is a five point star, which is basically like this. It's like a triangle, but it's a star. You see? So practice one two and then three connect these two four and then connect these two five easy easy peasy one two three it's like writing a with extended hands and then connect from here to here and then here to here so if you have practiced the straight line vertical line and the diagonal line this will be very easy for you two three four and five that's this is a five point star now let's draw a spiral spiral is like this It is important because it will help you in moving your hand in perfect circle with maintaining the equal distance between these two lines. So start with a small circle and just try to go circular around it, keeping the distance, maintaining the distance, equal distance around the previous circle. Once more, and one more. I know I'm not drawing perfectly, so that's why you have to practice more and more. Okay, so this spiral is complete. Now, let's move on to 3D shapes. So I will be drawing 3D shape.
we'll draw a box so to draw a box start with a square which we have practiced before this is a square okay now add three parallel lines which was the diagonal line which we practiced earlier now connect this straight line and a vertical line okay that was easy now what we can do is let's do it once more square three parallel lines which are diagonal and then vertical and a horizontal line now you can do something called shading shading is when you add a light and dark effect and give it a real look so what you can do is this is the front side and this is on the side and suppose the light is coming from this direction so this side will be bright and this side will be dark and the shadow will be here so how to go about this is you can start adding little bit of shade here lighter shade it's going to be a diagonal line not pressing the pencil really hard so this is going to be the back side right because the light is coming from here this is the lighter side so this side going to be really dark so you can draw a vertical lines i'm shading it try to keep it as close as you can and a bit dark so this will be a little dark don't go in other direction if you are shading if you are shading shade everything in the same vertical way okay and then the shadow will be on this side because light is coming from this side so you can add shadow by this see how i am adding all in the same direction went a little bit longer so let's make it longer here so now you can see it's a square box which is like a cube looks like it's on the ground with a shadow on this direction so i would like you guys to practice this similarly we can practice the circle as well draw a circle and then suppose the light is again coming from here so this will be the bright side this will be the dark side so just the way we did like uh, for these lines straight lines the same way you can add lines here but try to keep this circular area as bright as you can so don't shade anything in that area so start adding little bit lines here it's all going to be the straight and as you go move down as you move down try to make it dark as dark as you can but because it's a circle and it's going to be like a sphere so i'll show you what to do next first draw this all in same direction but because it's a sphere so it will be like this 
so it should be dark like this so you can dark this part like curved so try to follow this line this and then that and just keep on moving as you go up higher it will be lighter and as you go down it will be dark so make it dark as dark as you can Okay, uh, so it does look like a sphere now and the shadow will be on this direction again. So it will be like this, but it will be kind of circular, not exactly, but it will not be straight like this. It will be a little bit of in circular direction because it's a sphere. But you can, can but you can see that I'm only moving my hand in the same direction. I'm not going like this, that and one like this. All and because it's a point of contact it will be very dark in the bottom here. That's it. So I think you all have learned the basic shape which you need to practice start with lines which are vertical lines then horizontal lines then line in 45 degree angle then try to draw a circle then draw a triangle a square a star a spiral and then after drawing and practicing all those you can draw 3d shape which is a cube and then you can add a shadow a little bit the way i told you and then draw a sphere which starts with a circle and then you start adding the shades and just make sure if the light is coming from this side this side will be lighter and the opposite side will be darker same for this so thanks everyone for watching i want you guys to practice this see you all in the next lesson thank you please like subscribe and share bye